Hey everybody, it's Sam here and now I am all over the place with my Papercraft Society boxes. I do have the Pretty Gets Gritty and the last Olga one and I'll do separate unboxings for those because they are still available now as open stock. But I want to start using this one so I thought I'd best do the unboxing before I start cutting into all the papers. So this is box number 18 and this one's by Christina Griffiths. And you can see on the front there we've got a rose gold running throughout and this gorgeous purple colour, lavender, it's really nice. Haven't looked inside the tissue, you can see it's still all sealed up there so we'll do that separately. Let's have a little look in the envelope first. So anybody new to my channel, these are the Papercraft Society kits, these come out every month. There's always a different designer and you have a wallet which will have stamps, dies, other stencils and bottom folders if that designer's chosen to have those along with pattern papers and then you'll have additional bits in the box as well. So here you can see the envelopes we've got. Uh, don't forget to share your makes with us, hashtag paper society. Make your die cuts go further by snipping into them for extra shapes. Love the soft and delicate designs you can achieve with pastel colours and then this one says building up layers and textures make your makes your cards extra special. So let's have a look first of all at the dies. Well, I haven't even looked at the inspiration for this so I'm going in blind because usually I do have a sneak peek before I do the unboxings but we have this edge die here along with this one. These look like your leaves to your flowers and this looks like the top of a flower. I'm imagining this is going to cut into things I like this detail here it's very delicate but I do like those extra little sprigs to go into like when you're building bouquets and stuff. These look like possibly orchid dyes and then you have that looks like some very ornate butterfly or bow. Oh bow actually and there's another bow there. You've got some ovals so they're obviously going to cut sentiments. You've got a stamen detail, you've got a hello die and then this other almost like a more of a topper but I imagine you've got your outer die and then your detail so it will cut into your cardstock or out. But that one is the edge because that doesn't have a cut line along that side there. So that's the dies. And then the stamps. Already I can see this beautiful kind of topper which I've already got an idea on what I want to do with. I love these kind of border ones here. They're really nice to colour because they're quite simple just outline uh, you know, images rather than there's, there's no detail inside. So I like things like that. You've got your little crocuses there oh there we go so that's that one so I imagine yeah that looks like that will die cut with this one here beautiful just um, corner design and then you've got sunshine friend just to say you've got Easter there so you can have hello, hello there um, there's probably others that you can see as well but I'll, I'll probably see them when I start using it but I think that's really nice love this great big topic you can add all different sentiments inside that one so you know if you had this before because I know lots of people already have the kits who have subscribed so again they'll be watching this thinking Sam I've had this for ages but you could have happy mother's day in there which I imagine people have done beautiful really really like all that detail there. I think it's lovely then you have the embossing folder here and this is five by seven I do like five by seven embossing folders don't have as many I've got more six by six so it's nice to have these just kind of just nice pattern designs because it's easy then to start layering up you know all these flowers and this lovely topper will look great behind that then you have your papers you always get two of each so you've got this beautiful paper here which is I think the design on the envelope let's see if I just bring it a bit closer and then you've got this stripe which is nice I like oh, this is pretty that's really nice I like that one a lot Ah, uh, this is the one that's on the envelope, there we go. So you could pop the topper in there, you know, pop that onto a larger, would be like a 6x8 card, that'd look really nice. Aren't they beautiful? Really, really pretty designs. So that's your papers, so let's have a look inside the tissue paper. Sometimes you can get the sticker off without tearing the tissue paper, like so. And then I'll just take it off that side in a minute, but you can always reuse this. So in here... Oh, we've got some new colours and um, we have some organza ribbon to bring that up there so you can see you always get lots on here as well you can see it's quite thick so that's nice and you can colour that you could, they're easy to dye with your inks you always get an information card this one says when in doubt add a flourish with pearls and ribbon that's very a Christina thing her cards are very detailed so you've got here this is a verse library so have you made a beautiful handmade card then struggled for inspiration of what to write in it these verses may just be what you're looking for. That's nice, I've not seen that before. They're actually, 
the right kind of size, so you could almost photocopy that and then cut them out. There you go. Or if you're very good with your handwriting, then you'll be fine. I, on the other hand, am not. <laughs> and then you've got your three ink cubes here. Really nice colours, like this one. They're going to be nice. These all stuck on top of each other. They're hybrid inks, so you can use them with your waters. Water, so you can use them with water or without, and they will react and create nice effects. And then we have the coordinating cardstock here. So let's just take this out. So again, we've got that lovely lime green there. These ones are white core, double sided, so again you can create some nice distressed effects. In fact, if you run the embossing folder through this card, and if you've got a light sander over the top, you'll get the grain of the white core coming through and it creates lovely effects. Again, it gives a real kind of depth to the card, so once you start adding your flowers and things on top, it just makes them very tactile. I do like cards like that. Then you've got a lovely like lemon yellow, and then you've got an olive green there as well. So again, that will all coordinate perfectly with your inks and also with those pattern papers. And then here's the inspiration. So here's Christina. I won't go through all of it because I like to keep it a surprise again for anybody new that's thinking of getting it or for people that have got it maybe and still haven't used it. So let me just show you some beautiful cards. Let's have a little look. It's the first time I'm looking at it, so I'm just trying to see. Let's show you one with that topper. There we go. This one here. So this is an easel card and it looks like this is done by Pauline Hickey. She's done kind of a, a distressed, almost like an, an oxide reaction there in the background using the inks. And then she's used white embossing powder to stamp the main stamp, that big topper. And then I think she's, again, she would have used the inks and she's coloured all those parts there and then stamped. Looks like she may have used some vellum in the middle there as well. So she stamped that one, so that's one idea. And then here, again, this is Pauline. She's done a lovely one with the embossing folder. So you can see there, again, she tells you how to do it. I really like that idea. And then she's used those corners and then she's used some silver embossing powder there. And then, let's see if we've got another. That's a nice idea. So someone there has made an e skit using that lovely topper and then the card stock there and they look like they've made little note cards to go inside. So just to give you some ideas there on what you can do with this. So as always I'll share the direct link to the Papercraft Society in the description box below. You have a variety of different subscriptions, monthly, quarterly, six monthly or yearly and there's also offers and things like that going on so check out Craft Stash, Craft World and see what's available there and you might be able to get some discount as well. So thanks for watching and I'll be back very soon with some tutorials using this product.